Hello everyone, this is the tutorial um, on the Starez X app. In this tutorial, we're going to go over maintenance requests. So first thing we want to do is open the app. It's right there on the base of the screen, so we're just going to open this up. And as I've shared maybe in other tutorials, there's a couple of different options on this page. Um, if you haven't set up the app, this is not what you're going to be seeing. So you should refer to an email or some other instructions on how to get your app set up. Um, but on this page we see the entries tab, so that's where you look up student information, fast check-in, check-out. Again, pretty sure we're not going to be using that really in any context, but I could be wrong. Um, and then there's the maintenance tab, which is where work orders, maintenance requests happen, and then inspections where we conduct inspections to report on the conditions of the space. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the maintenance tab. Um, and so we're just going to pop over here and it's going to give us a couple of different options. So this tab provides us with some different type of information, some different options. The very obvious one on the bottom here is the new maintenance job and that allows you to um, submit requests. Browsing by location gives you the ability to pull up maybe a maintenance request that you wanted information on and by technician, by category, all different kinds of things that you can pull up information with. So I think first, let's go ahead and look up maybe an existing maintenance request. So let's say one of your residents reached out to you and was like, hey, I like wanted to know if there's any update on like the maintenance request that like I submitted the other day, it hasn't gotten fixed yet. What you can do is you can go into the app and you can browse by location. So let's say your resident just happens to live in O'Connell 100, my apartment. Um, and so we'll go into O'Connell, first floor O'Connell, and then it'll say an error has occurred. At least it's been saying that for me. Please try again. It's not a problem. We can keep going. And then find the room that you're looking for. So in this case, O'Connell 100. And then you'll see, hey, right here, there is a maintenance request for O'Connell 100A. So if we tap on that and pull it open, um, it'll show us some information. And uh, um, yeah. So... You can see that it was reported by me. It was reported on July 31st. Scrolling down, micro fridge, maintenance. Um, there's the description. The technician has been assigned to the appliance contractor. So that's the person who's currently responsible for getting it fixed. And then it looks like a school dude work order was submitted on the 31st at 3.50 p.m. So like if you wanted to give that person like an update on like what was going on, that's an option for you. Um, so now you've kind of seen how to look up like a maintenance request. We're going to jump back a couple of pages back to that original maintenance page. And then we're going to submit just a maintenance job. So again, I just got to pull this up so you can see where I'm tapping. So we're going to go into that page. We're going to open it up and we're going to be provided with a certain like type of screen here with some information that we need to fill out. So room space, let's say we need to submit a maintenance request for O'Connell 100 again, um, you know, just to be able to just to be able to, uh, we can actually type something in here. So we're going to do OCH, type it in the space, OCH 100, and we'll search for it. Hey, there it is. Just going to submit a request there. And then you don't have to fill out reported by, you don't have to submit a priority, but let's say that a light burnt out. So we'll go and find, um, we'll go and find the thing for lighting. So looking through all of our different options, technical support, no, signage, no. Looks like lighting is gonna be our best option. So we'll pull that open. And then it looks like we have some different options, bathroom, bedroom, entrance. So it's actually in the kitchen. So we're gonna pull on kitchen there. And then we'll just type in a description for it. So the kitchen light has gone out and needs to be repaired. Cool. And when you're submitting the description, you always want to make sure you've laid eyes on it. So if you're submitting the request, you better have like gone into this apartment. You better have seen like that the light is out yourself. Um, because there might be a different issue. And so never submit a maintenance request if you haven't yourself laid eyes on it. And also when writing the description, you really want to be specific. So 
it's not the light, it's the kitchen light. Um, like, we might throw in here, has gone out and will not turn on. I typed never, and will not turn on. Needs to be repaired, maybe replaced, would be a better word there. Um, and then just looking through here, you don't have to worry about any of this other information below. So whenever you're ready to submit it, you can hit save and it'll say loading. And then it'll kind of look like the same page once it's submitted, but it'll, you saw kind of how it changed there. So that is how you submit a maintenance request. That is largely the information that you see in the maintenance page. Um, and that's, that's the tutorial.